Greetings, Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Rising, and Sagittarius Moon. Welcome to your tarot video scope for May 2020 by Ama Lightworker. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please turn on the notification bell. This way you are going to be notified every time that I upload videos and every time that I go live. Do remember that these are general readings. If you need to have a private consultation with me, please visit my website www.amalightworker.com and email me at amalightworker at gmail.com. For those of you who would like to receive more information, there's two ways. I have already uploaded a whole new reading for your sign. It is available for download and purchase through Vimeo. The link for that, for those of you who are interested, is posted down here below in the show more description box. Or you may choose to join the membership program. Just click join right here next to the subscribe. And that's going to take you to the membership program where I'm doing a second new reading for you, which is going to be twice as long. And I have already uploaded in that space 12 new readings for each sign of the Zodiac. So either click join or in the show more description box, you're going to find a link to join. Now, please allow me to focus on this reading for you. The general feelings that I'm picking up for your sign, Sagittarius, have to deal with balance, a sense of justice being restored, working with the legal or the justice system, or being rewarded through courts, the legal and the justice system. Uh, something is going to shift into how you relate to money, how you connect to money. There's going to be some money-related uh, activities, but also maybe by chance, somehow opportunity will come together for you, people will show up uh, for you, and you may be having some sort of a personal uh, success or a personal uh, victory into a situation. And you got to trust your intuition because your intuition will serve you right throughout the whole month of May. That was the general feeling. Now I will be breaking this down one by one. I will tell you the meaning of the card first, and then I will tune in to hear what my spiritual team has to tell you about this. The justice card to me it means balance, dealing with courts, the legal um, and, and the justice system, uh, uh, and also, but it could also mean being uh, rewarded through the courts and the legal system. Challenging situations uh, lie ahead, could be in regards to a business, finances, or family matters. These could be circumstances that stemmed from the past, but they may be showing up again. Sometimes this card, it also means new beginnings, uh, results, and rewards for your hard work and persistence. For some of you, you could have been looking into a legal situation, dealing with courts, dealing with uh, lawyers, or even dealing with an investigation. For other ones, maybe this is some research that you needed to do. It's like I'm investigating into the matter. Let me get some uh, research. Maybe it's not something official, but that's how you look at the circumstance. You, uh, maybe you still need to look for some documentation or information to put together. Because for some of you, you are going to be filling out forms, applications, questionnaires, uh, on uh, online, and I get that a lot of you are going to be doing a lot of research. There's a sense that now justice or justice will take place. You may be getting in touch with the state, state officials, the government, a government branch, a government department, an office that either is going to instruct you on how to do something, maybe you're dealing with the legal process, or that is going to facilitate you being reimbursed, getting money back, or getting back something that was yours to begin with. So getting something back, restoring your rights, um, maybe it's going to be about financial help or financial uh, assistance. I have a sense that for some of you, they're talking about 
your power be neglected, your warnings being neglected, something that you said wasn't taken in consideration or it wasn't given the proper importance. Now all of that is going to change. Uh, I also have a sense that somebody may be needing at this time more information from you. They may be contacting you because they either have to tell you additional information. Maybe you are the one who witnessed something uh, happening and you have to um, uh, explain that again, what you witnessed. For other ones, this has to deal with a certain sense of peace, a burden being lifted off your shoulders, and that's how justice needs to be served, not necessarily in the legal sense. It is about you having, uh, you allowing for peace and balance in your life so that everything in your life feels a little bit more just, a little bit more even. You could be going through courts and the legal system, maybe you already did, because for some of you, we had to deal with a property. Um, it had to deal with an inheritance. For some of you, maybe even it had to deal with um, a uh, divorce. So that's why you keep getting through that card. The next card is the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, another great card. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is the Wealth card. Uh, it means uh, also harmony, comfort, loyalty, be generous. Money will show up for you through family, family sources, and family channels. So for some of you, you may have to deal with that uh, inheritance. But this is also a reminder for some of you that money it is, it is showing up because either you did that application, you asked for help, you did all the right stuff, you followed the procedure. For some of you, you may still have to go through. It feels like you have to be a little bit more brave because for some of you, it is about you taking a chance or having faith that something that you have created, something that you have worked uh, on, now is going to start to give you results. This could be a business venture that now is going to um, reward you financially. This could be a business that maybe you opened and now is going to reward you uh, financially. For some of you, I also keep hearing that now you are going to be back in business. Whatever this means for you, because you don't have to have a business for this to make sense. It could be like an expression, back in uh, business you are going to still have to let go of a lot. For some of you, it could be about trading something, trading up, giving up uh, a smaller home for a bigger home, giving up a job position for a new job uh, position. So there's going to be some sort of a trading going on, swapping going uh, on, but generally I keep getting the sense that you are laying the ground for something bigger, uh, bigger and better to come along. If you have been, if you do live in a building where maybe some work was necessary to happen, now it feels that all of these issues are going to be addressed because there are going to be improvements in uh, the home where you live. Anything that maybe needed fixing, repairing, maybe you didn't have the help, uh, maybe you need to have the proper help for it. Help will come together. Maybe you didn't have the money or the financial resources. Now all of that is going to be uh, possible. For some of you, I even get a sense of looking in, into adopting a pet, babysitting a pet, spending time with pets and uh, animals, and generally feeling more comfortable into stepping out of your co uh, comfort zone. The next card that you have is the Two of Cups. So the meaning of the card for me, it means a friend or an acquaintance coming to change the course or, or the direction. It means practical help coming together, skill coming together. Uh, so a person or people coming together in the sense of brotherhood or sisterhood. It also means passion to help with your goal and direction. Opportunity comes together. Either somebody from the past gave you an information that was uh, important, uh, 
uh, or maybe they gave you some help, some advice, they reoriented you towards uh, the truth or simply for you to understand better your own truth, your own uh, power. This could have been a spiritual advisor, this could have been uh, a counselor, counselor, this could have been a friend uh, or a family member who in some ways shed a light into some matters uh, over which you are kept in the dark. You are trying to finally understand the truth or maybe you are trying to find out exactly uh, what happened, things that maybe you needed some clarity over it. Some of you are going to be celebrating the end of some circumstance that was very frustrating. This could be the end of some legal proceedings, courts, legal matter, uh, the end of a contract, the end of a contract. Uh, I also get a sense that for some of you, you could be running into uh, people that you know in, in the most weird places that you never thought you would, you would be running into people that you know. They are also talking about some of you are going to be able to have some sort of an accomplishment because this is the uh, congratulation toast, you know, uh, cheers. Some of you are going to be able to acquire at this time a piece of property. And maybe that's there, there is this congratulatory note. You may be buying a business, you may be buying a home, you may be buying um, a car. This could be the uh, congratulatory, the celebratory conclusion to that, um, to a uh, circumstance. Your rights are going to be restored, whether this is in the family whether this is in the workplace, whether this is in a competition that you may be uh, participating, you are going to be making plans about seminars, workshops, you are going to be getting invitations to do a speech, a presentation. For some of you, it could be about a job interview, could be about videos that you present uh, on social uh, media. Some kind of a work that you have been working on is now being finalized. Maybe you have been working on a book and the book is now uh, completed. Maybe you're working on some other project and finally now is going to be uh, completed. In the light of some new information coming to you from uh, people that, as I said, are coming together to help you, uh, that's, or maybe, you know, a person that uh, helps you and that changes the luck for uh, the better, the right people, the right person showing up at the right time with the right information, with the right, uh, with the right help, thus changing some sort of circumstance for the uh, better. Opportunities for work, opportunities for, to find new work, opportunities to expand uh, your craft and the job that you have are going to show up uh, for the next two weeks or two months. So May, June, you may be, opportunities will open up for you. Let me put it this way. Could also be opportunities to date. You know, your dating opportunities is uh, are going to open up. Your social life could be opening up opportunities for you to uh, spend and grow your career, thus expanding and grow your uh, your finances are going to show up one after another. The next card that you have is from a different deck and it says, listen to your intuition. So the meaning of the card is um, you got to listen to your own inner guidance, your intuition, to the messages that you may be receiving. It doesn't matter in what form, because these messages now are going to serve you right. You have to have faith in your feelings. If something feels right, feels right. If something doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel right. So you have to trust that. You have to trust uh, the feelings about the circumstance that you are expecting. Your insights also into other people's life are going uh, to be true. Okay, so um, <clears throat> it feels like it's okay for you to act on your true feelings or uh, motives. They're going to be very uh, accurate. And there's no need to go over the same situation and questioning yourself when you know 
deep down that when something is true, whether it's pleasant or not, is true. At this time, it feels like your instinct is going to serve you right. You are going to be able to distinguish who's lying, who is not lying. You're going to be able to see who is trying to make up for their mistake. Do not be surprised if people start to contact you and letting you know that maybe in the past they wronged you in some ways and they would like to make it up to you. You are going to have a sense that either you're going to be drawn to reconnect with people, but also certain circumstances from the shadows, people of, from the shadows are going to come up to you and they're going to, in some ways, they're going to tell you that they regret something they did uh, to you, a business partner, a family member, a child, a neighbor, a friend, could have been about gossip, could have been about uh, um, uh, taking credit for your work, could have been about going behind your back and maybe stealing some opportunity away uh, from uh, you. Could have been a lot of scenarios, but it feels like now uh, all of these people are going to be coming up to you, trying to repay you, or trying to make it up to you. If somebody owes you money, uh, it feels like now it's time uh, they're going to repay, repay back a debt. Okay? They're talking about things that maybe you misplaced, you lost, uh, you are going to find them, you're going to be able to locate them. If you forgot something or you didn't know where it was, I keep hearing again um, something being returned uh, to you. So I hope that this is making sense. Maybe you lost something and somebody is going to return it uh, to you. But most importantly, take this time now, not only to deeply focus on any messages that may show up for you in your dreams. For some of you, it's highly advisable to start uh, training uh, maybe you want to train um, to open up your intuition. Maybe you want, maybe you play piano and you want to focus more in depth on that, developing further that skill. Maybe you're you're very good in kitchen and you want to expand uh, uh, that skill. Maybe you're a very good accountant. Maybe you're a very good lawyer. It doesn't matter what your profession is. It feels like right now you have to look into ways to expand that or even how to make that more profitable because the energies are going to line up but also you are going to be able to put some worries uh, aside and you are going to put into it the right inspiration because doing things for the right reasons it's going to be uh, important. Put passion and joy into everything that you need to do and that's going to help you to uh, you could be working harder but it's going to reward you financially. Focus on bringing more joy, more passion, restore harmony in your body, restore harmony uh, in yourself, restore harmony with people around uh, you. So some sort of a restoration and regeneration will be taking place, whether this is happening at the physical body, uh, at a mental body, in your communications, or restoring a circumstance that maybe even uh, affected your family because it, it was connected to those uh, legal uh, matters. I hope that this is making sense to you. You can always go to the Vimeo videos where I'm doing a whole new reading for each sign of the zodiac, clicking the link down here below in the show more description box and that's going to take you to the Vimeo videos. You can join the membership program, the additional readings that you're going to get there, excuse me, are twice as long. You can always listen to the rising sign and moon sign because you are going to get additional information. Contact me for a private reading. I'm a late worker at gmail.com. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and I will reconnect with you again in the next video. Thank you. Bye.